Yo, 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 what's up, Smooth Squad? It's your boy Jay Smooth here, back at you with another reaction. And today we are watching Fallout Season 1, Episode 8, the finale called The Beginning. Ooh, The Beginning. Interesting. Well, I guess we get to see the beginning, how things happen. I don't know. It's the beginning of 033, the beginning of something else. Because remember, I didn't mention that ending the following episode, I mean, the, the past episode, where uh, Cooper was uh, spying on his wife. So I wonder how they're going to lock all this in, in one hour. It should be interesting. I want to know what happened with him and his wife. What is he spying on? Why is Moldaver in the past? Why is she in the future? What's going on with Moldaver? Why does everyone know her? What's her goal? Why did she kidnap the dad? And what's going on in Vote 31? We need to get all those answers in one hour. We'll see. That's going to be hard to do. But if they do it, then great. If they don't, well, we'll just dive a little bit more into it in season two, which is great. If not, I mean, if they do solve everything, then season two would just be another mystery. There are so many votes. Um, I believe there are like 120 votes. Well, I mean, it's always stories to follow in this world. And season two could just be a completely whole nother cast, a whole nother thing. Not that, you know, I like Lucy. I like Maximus, but they could go that route. But, you know, I like Lucy. I want to kind of see her even more in season two be even more, you know, badass or something like that. So that'll be good. So, yeah, let's just jump into this episode and see how it goes. Please like, subscribe, comment down below for anything that I missed. How did you think of the season so far? All that other good stuff. What's in vote 31? Let's go. Uh -oh. Not the vertebrae. Approaching Maximus, man. Oh, okay. They took him aboard. This dude always finding himself in the trouble. Oh, no, not to. <laughs> Find me. I will. And he will not, actually. Scully clear for land. The locals put up a fight. So did we. <laughs> what in the world? Did they take over Philly? What did they do to Philly? Yo! What are they conquerors or something now? They really did take over Philly. Wow, that is interesting. Wait, why did they did they kill the people there? You know you're in trouble, man. I don't know why they gonna know that's not the head. You're wearing the knight's red. Where's your knight? He's dead. God. This is not the first time a brother in your company has fallen into misfortune. Look, she looks she look worried for him. I fear you lied then. No artifact, my lord. Oh. Oh no. My injury was my own doing, not his. Okay. Is I know where the head is. For the sake of the brotherhood, please listen to him. Such a display of loyalty. Don't see that much anymore. Woo, that boy lucky. The brotherhood has lost its way. We once ruled the wasteland, and yet power is taken, not given. The lesson you seem to have learned. So, if what you say is true, and you can lead us to the relic. A relic? We will take power. And with it, we will start a new brotherhood with me and the likes of you as its sword. Everybody after this relic. Interesting. Your entire life, you've been looking for a home. Nah, this ain't my home, bruh. I don't like the way I do things here. Build one with me. You're just about to kill me. They definitely arm tight. Interesting. Okay, we reached it. Oh, they got crops, armed guards. 
This looks like the final boss level that you will reach in the game. And they are well armed here, man. You wouldn't even run to reach this base at a low level. You would get shot. Damn. Then again, ain't no brotherhood here. I think storming a brotherhood base would probably be worse. Why in the... Hmm, they got ghouls living here. He coming to the same place, eh? <laughs> Oh, it's the least I could do after I bungled your oil change. Well, I appreciate you trying. You know, most guys would be why this nice. They wouldn't be willing to get their hands dirty. Okay. I love you. Uh, love you too. Uh, here we go. The spying. This never leaves anywhere good, man. Really? <laughs> oh, man. Is this this bud? Askins, what's the name? Bud Askins. I'm, I'm heading out. I promised Janie that I would teach her some roping. Oh, yeah. I don't have kids myself, but I do have a training program for up and coming executives, and that's basically the same thing. <laughs> I imagine Barb told you about it. Uh, no. Oh, no. Well, I call it Bud's <laughs> Buds. The basic idea is that the biggest obstacle to achievement has been the brevity of the human lifespan. It's prevented us from uh, working on projects. That Why you just love telling me uh, work stuff? What, okay. Keep my project on track centuries <clears throat> in the future. Nifty. Oh. Bud, we're getting late. Oh, okay. Let's go. Thought so she was on to him. Yeah. <laughs> Why'd she give him that look, man? Hey, maybe, uh, maybe we could all put a cafe cabana somewhere we can cook. I think maybe he's just intrigued by Coop because he's a celebrity, he's an actor. Makes sense. Maybe you got to get closer, man. Uh oh. Better have an excuse while you're walking back in there. Like she forgot something or. Oh, the classic Fallout. Radio, static. Love it. Oh, nice view. Wide out in the open. Lucy. You still got him in a cage? What in the world? Welcome. Oh! What in the world? It's my turn to host, isn't it? Would love to join you, but uh, this ghoul is a... Uh... I've had a lot of time to think about this moment. You wouldn't believe the things that went through my head. Well, she looks nice again. Made it look like she just walked right here. <laughs> Brought you your friend. Give me my dad back. But first, what if I tell you how I know you? Sure. Let's do it. No, Lucy. Hey! You think your father no. was born in a vault? I want to talk about this. Like you? Yeah. Ooh, what if it was a couple of them that were frozen at one time, like a special vault? All right, we'll talk about that. I, I don't want to come up with no sort of. Hello? Uh, I want to get it. I'll get it. Don't you worry. <laughs> Told you. Didn't I say it? Didn't I say, what if this place run by robots? Well, I didn't call this, but still, I did say, what if there's nobody in there? The key to the future of humanity is a... Uh, nope. I just, maybe I have to... Nope. Oh, thank you, Betty. Wow. You share only 50% of Hank McLean's DNA. Interesting. No. No, 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 no! Initiate protocol 53. Whoa, whoa, whoa! No, 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 no! Okay, it doesn't shoot. All right, good. Thank you. Sorry, just hold still. Ah, uh, no, thank you. Bye. <laughs> Unless you let me inject you with this. All right. Don't move. This secret must be guarded. Don't, don't go in there. Bro, you need to walk faster. Don't let him stab you. You access the info tree or look at the terminal. Wait, just right there. Stop. Yeah, it's like this vote. <gasps> you think this is the management vote? The vote that, that manages all the other votes? Wouldn't that be crazy if Lucy and them were just like just two votes away from the vote? Here's a new guy. That'd be crazy. 
Henry, he's a really big fan of yours. Ah, uh, yeah, we've met him. Group bearing collaboration between like-minded corporations that make America great. On behalf of everyone here at vault -Tec, welcome. Man, she's sitting at the table. Your sales aren't up to snuff, and you need money. Right. You're one to talk, Freddy boy. You could lose money running a casino. Our sales are fine. Sure, rumors of the peace negotiations. Are these like people from the West, the East? And I wonder if that guy is connected to Las Vegas talking about casinos. Our vaults have the resources to survive for centuries. Meanwhile, our competitors, every other human who isn't us, will be dead on the surface. Man. Because after all, what is the ultimate weapon of mass destruction? Time. Time. Hmm. Time is the apex predator. This guy Bud is a little bit of a savage. Even if you outlive all external threats, here's my problem with the vaults. You can find a bunch of rats in the nest for a long time. They end up eating each other. So who's mm. better than those animals on the surface? And you still good have question. Rat the is a question. Short -sighted, I, would say. I don't need rats. No, on Why are you so? Hey, where's the order? But I see the plan now. They their plan was just to stay in the vaults and just outlive all those other people who let them kill each other, and they stay down there. Come on, Barb. Set them straight. When I think about the future, I think about my daughter. How do I provide her with a better future? That's what we've invited you here to discuss. <laughs> He's like, yes. <laughs> she about to switch it up on you. Watch. <laughs> Bro, you a robot, bro. Conflict resolution 101. Where's the rest of the vault? This yeah, that's what I'm saying. Vault. That's crazy. Where my dad's from? You'll never find out. Oh, he's gonna find out. <laughs> this robot is funny. Holla at your boy. I do what I do because I do it well and I predict well because it only makes sense. I said it's cryogenic chambers, bro. I told you. It's the only thing that makes sense. Why would Moldava be alive? But wh what I want to know now is how Moldava got in this vault. This is an important vault. Trained staff of highly supervised junior executives for my own assistant training program because the future of humanity comes down to one word. Are there still people frozen? We have over a hundred vaults spread across America. Mm -hmm. Enough for each of you to claim several where you can play out your own ideas for how to create the perfect conditions for humanity. It sounds just like the game. Every vault is different. Everybody had their own ideas on how to. Man, some of those ideas were insane, by the way. They're our breeding pool, the ultimate expression of HRRD. Genetically selected to breed with my buzz to create a class of people with positivity, people who make lemonade, people who will inherit the earth after we've wiped the surface clean. But it makes sense to me because I said the perfect people to survive that earth would have been Vote 33. What if everybody from Vote 33 came up and repopulated the earth? It would have been a polite world. I'm going to keep it real. It's a good idea. But now, how are they getting rid of people on Earth? I hope they ain't dropping bombs on purpose. About using a vault to develop a super mutant soldier <laughs> using illegal immigrants. See? We could See that? Like control the drugs into the air. So they coming up with whole kind of ideas from the game. A lot of earning potential with the end of the world, but we're talking about making a significant investment based on this a hypothetical. Is, this is crazy, to guarantee though. Guarantee results. By dropping the bomb ourselves. I just said that, damn it! That's nasty work. Create votes, come up with ideas. It's basically saying let's wipe the earth clean and start over anew. That's certain you hear from like Betty. So excited to meet you. That's Betty. Betty? A nuclear event would be a tragedy, but also an opportunity. Whoa. The greatest opportunity in history. Because when we are the only ones left, there will be no one to fight. This is nasty Howard. work. Huge fan. I'm Henry, but uh, everyone calls me Hank. That is Hank. Hank, 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 Hank. Wow, it looks really like him younger, like. Your father has been around for a very long time. 
Ooh. Boy, boy. Part of an boy. organization that thought they had the answers to all the world's problems. Bro, that's something you see like in a Marvel movie or like a, a villain movie, like where they want to. Isn't that what the villain tried? I'll talk about that later. We have conflict and we have war. And war, well, war never changes. He never this told you where he's really from. When he's from, he never told your mother either. How did you get in that vault, Moldaver? Maybe she just like sneaked her way in, like act like she was for it to make sure she's just part of the new world because she knew the bombs were about to drop. Isn't that why you came to the surface, really? Partly to rescue your father, but to know why I took him. Mm. Oh, boy, boy, boy. Things just kicked up a notch. Thank you. You know you didn't put that razor in your own boot. Who put the razor in the boot? I want to know. <laughs> Who the hell did it? I was just scared of going to the wilds. I had no idea they'd blame you for it. Wait, did she really do Sorry. it? I was meant to go on that mission. I met someone. But right now she's walking into danger. That's why you came back to rescue her. Leaving with her. <sighs> oh, man, why are you telling all this, man? There's no mercy, and there's no leaving. I wish there was. I still can't get over the Brotherhood just coming into Philly, and like, what? Did they really just kill people, who drop a flag, and like made that a, like part of their base? That's insane. Your mother discovered that something was siphoning the vault's water away. Oh. From that one clue, she deduced that maybe civilization had returned to the surface. She can't. She's not the ghoul, is she? Lucy, let's go. Let's get out of here. So she ran away, like you did, Lucy. Mm. And took her children. And she found this wonderful city. It was everything the vaults had promised. She is lying. What? But then her husband came after her. And when she decided not to return home, and he burned that city to the ground. Dang. Oh, boy. <gasps> Voltec deals with competition. Dang. Voltec worse than the damn brother of the steel. They all terrible, man. <laughs> it, it seemed like it's just too many. It's, it's more bad people in this world than good people. So it's just going to be a cycle. Remind you of the real world, man. Wow. So what she remembered was a real city when she was a kid. She thought she was in a vault. They made it proprietary. So only a trusted vault tech minion Do not can activate listen cold fusion to her. All I need is for him to give me the code. Lucy! Me! Oh, dang! Just tell me the truth, man. What happened to my mom? My mother. Yeah. What happened to her? I think you know. Dang, man, it is her. No, not the ghoul. Dang, man. Oh, yep. Y'all been lying to us, man. You told me you buried my mother, man. Give her the coat, Dad. Oh, boy. What could this unlimited list energy do, though? Thing is, what can this energy do? That's the thing. It's crazy. So Stephanie is from Vault 33, too. Who was she in the past? She lived a whole bunch of years trying to act like she young and like she... Great meeting you. I actually have to get back home. Home, son of Hank. Why? What do you mean? <gasps> Yo! 
Not with what you've learned. You're just gonna keep me here. Why is it so dangerous? We're all ready to go to the surface. That could be hundreds. What? Of years. I'm gonna die. That's why I'd suggest you wait it out in your dad's pod. Oh Not no! Here, except the occasional very large bug. I'd certainly put myself to sleep if I could. Oh, I could kill you. What's up with that? Open the door. I'll break your joint. Whose brain is that? Oh, man. No, why I gotta put myself to sleep for that many years? You know how many years that's probably gonna take? Unless Lucy goes back. To save our people. Not that woman over there. You drop bombs on an entire city? That is true too. She kills people to get what she wants. You didn't even ask her what she's going to do with that energy, but uh, well, she got it now. Oh, no. Barricade the doors. Don't let anyone in here. Ooh, fight time. Let's move. Let him out. I loved your mother, but you stopped being your mother when she left home. Why? Because she left home? Because she was she curious? To danger. Why couldn't you take me and my mother back to the vault? Kidnap her or something like that. Why would you drop a bomb on your own wife? Like, no, I'm not letting you get away with that. Nah, I'm not trying to hear that. Oh! Oh! What in the... It looked like Moldava already got energy. Oh, yo, those are innocent people. I had to make a choice. Your choice was wrong. You bombed an entire city. I made the right choice. Obviously didn't, because somebody, by bombing them, you still left the wife alive. They was able to use her pet boy. I'm surprised they just don't give all of them a suit. If you're going to let them run up in that, this base, everybody should be in suits. Oh! Tomorrow, so they say, will be oh, they're part of the new republic. That's who Moldavia and them is. This ain't good. See what I'm saying? Imagine if all of them were in suits. They would have won. Endlessly fighting, endlessly at war. Then what is the solution but to get rid of the factions? To make the world us. Only ours to shape. Why did you kill my mother? Or turn her into a ghoul? Why, why not take me, your wife, back with you? Now, that's the only part I don't get. All you could have did is just take us both back. Dang, they not ready for the brotherhood, man. They not ready. I see we <laughs> How are you just standing there like that? He crazy? I bet that outfit makes y'all feel like a big man, don't it? Well, I know, cause... Well, I used to wear one back in the day. I'm surprised they ain't just shoot him. Just below the chest plate. Oh! I guess not. <laughs> he might have just saved them, man. Y'all don't. Wow. Y'all don't got flashlights on them thing. Night vision. Yo, that's a grenade. Bro, this ghoul just took out three or four T60, T65 soldiers. That's crazy. 
You can't even do that in the game. You probably could, but you got to be a high level to do that. You know how hard it is to kill them things? He took out three of them. Wow. Ah, oh, that's sad, man. I'm not trying to hear nothing you say, man. You do that. That's just, you can't explain that. Why would you do that to my moms? And it's not like she did something really bad, but went to the outside world and took her kids with her. Lucy. Lucy. He like, what the hell is going on? No, you about to take that core. Lucy, what? Yeah. Ooh. Dom the dad out that quick. Damn. You have to tell him just now. Damn, Dad, that's such a crazy thing to do. You're not thinking about the innocent people that were up there. We get it, some crazy people up there, some factions, but they they were children. <clears throat> Did he put on a suit? You're coming with me. Dang, why he look evil now? No. Oh! Max, Max, Max. Yo, is he is he alive? You're not gonna shoot your dad, so you might as well put the gun down. You see what this place does to people. It's what's don't don't blame this on that. You came all this way for me. I did, but I didn't know you freaking bombed my mother. You want another autograph, young Henry? Oh, he met him before. <laughs> I was hoping they'd meet again. Ooh, got him in the face, too. I just couldn't believe that it was the McLean. <laughs> now, I've waited over 200 years to ask somebody one question. Where's my family? Oh, wait, they were in the cryo chamber? Are they in vote 31? Wow. What a turn of events. I didn't even think about was his wife and his daughter in the cryo. Well, his daughter can't be in it, right? Wake up, wake up. My thing is, did he make it to the vault? See, because the bombs dropped. Come on! Him and his daughter wasn't there. So his wife could possibly be in one, but I'm not sure about his daughter. Bro, he hit him so hard. I'm, I don't know if he's alive. I'm hoping he is. What happened to my girl, man? His friend. Looks like chaos. And look at the mother. But there's always somebody behind the wheel. And that's who I want to talk to. You think it's one person in charge of this stuff? You want to know how I know your daddy, don't you? Let's just say that everything about your whole little world was decided over 200 years ago. Mm. Now you can stay here with him, but when his 10 can soldier friends take this place and they gonna take this place. Yeah. They will Bruh. kill you and everybody here. Brotherhood took over, man. Dang, Moldava, you had it. We can't let them get that core, man. Can we not take the core right, right, right quick? Then again, she take that core, they gonna be on her. On her. Hey, do know that's infinite power. Well, he knows where to go. He needs to stop telling people about. Well, I don't think she told him the number, right? But he should know if he saw the back of her her shirt. Moldava knows where he is. And where the hell is Moldava? Don't do it. Don't take it with you, man. Okay. All right. <laughs> Yo, man. Ooh, that can't be it. Oh, I was about to say that can't be it. Man, she's had a hell of a three weeks, bro. Lucy. Lucy gone, man. Lucy.
Dang, they still fighting into the night. They must have more soldiers than we thought. At least they putting up a fight. Yeah, she like, yo, she activated it. What are you doing? Uh, what does that do? Said a hundred percent. I don't hear no more shooting. We did it, Rose. They couldn't have killed the Brotherhood. Um, what's about to happen? I know she in footsteps. Yeah, she definitely see him now. Oh. Yo. That's like power. In a way, hold on. What your brotherhood would do with infinite power? Not nothing good. Maybe you can stop them. Maybe you can't. Maybe all you can do is try. Dang, no, Moldava. Damn. Because now when they get in control of it, they're going to shut it down. Or maybe they'll let it stay. She just supplied power to the it's not there, leader. whole outside world. Well, not maybe the whole country, but at least that area. Shh, let's just take the credit. <laughs> he like, nah, 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 don't, don't. Oh, God, no, not Night Maximus. Ooh, this is a turn of events. <laughs> Maureen, my shadow and me. So what's their next move now? Are they trying to find the, the leaders? My echo. My shadow. Surprised that Hollywood sign ain't more tore down. It's just the old missing. <laughs> Sponsored by Nuka Cola. That might just be a whole new sign. That shines oh, that's the dad. We'll wait for you. Even delete my echo. What in the world is that? Is that the original headquarters? I don't know who Wayne Yip is, but he did an excellent job with that last episode. Let me see if there's any after credit scenes. There's so many questions to answer. Oh, moly. Well, that was one hell of a finale. So many questions answered. I was wrong. They answered almost all the questions in one hour. And still, it still seemed too short. I still don't know if the brother, if Norm really got in the cryo chamber. You saw him walking towards it, so I guess he's probably just going to get in it. And they'll probably make up some story about how he must have escaped and went into the outside world. That's the only thing I can think of them saying. Because it is what it is. I got so many notes, I don't even know where to start. But very interesting. I was correct. She's from a cryo chamber. What I didn't think of is the dad being from a cryo chamber, too, but it makes sense. Um, so they would just they worked at the company. So, of course, they would have a spot. What I'm trying to wonder is that secretary lady, her name was Betty. I wonder if that was Betty, because as you can see, they're all a little bit older. So they probably woke them up. When they went in there, I guess I didn't catch the first time she said, my name is Betty, but I'm, I'm guarantee you that's the same Betty. Black lady, Betty, she's in the company. They were all frozen together. It makes perfect sense. So now it is interesting. The whole theory of them saying, listen, <laughs> nuclear bombs are going to hit at some point. 
we're building these vaults. We're getting people to pay for spots in these vaults and all this stuff. But to have the idea to say, listen, we got all these ideas on how if the bombs do drop, we could repopulate Earth and all these other things. And we have this idea the guy brought up. Maybe we could build super mutants. And somebody was like, what if we get the smartest children and make them smart and then uh, make the votes? It's, a lot of these are Easter eggs from the video games because these are how these votes were run. A lot of these votes, when you go into a different vote in the video game, it always seemed to just be something different going on in this vault. And you'd be like, what the hell were they thinking? Now it makes sense. They had this, this group of people, seemed like 12 of them. And whoever that was at the top, who we really couldn't see, they were just coming up with ideas. I wonder why that vote four was just somebody probably came up with that idea. What if we just have a vote if we just put all scientists in it to try to do experiments? And probably one of the ideas was to see uh, to build humans that are immune to radiation and can handle it. And what happened? You start pumping them full of radiation doing this and you come out with monsters. And then they escape into the outside world. Things get crazy. Uh, vote 108 in the uh, video game because, you know, I did some Googling last night to try to. All I did is Google was vote 33 inside the video games. Um, that didn't turn up to nothing. Every time you Google vote 33, the TV show popped up. So then I just exit the uh, Internet. The same thing for um, vote four. None of these votes are in the video game. But. There are so many votes. That's why I'm thinking they're using some of these votes for the TV show. Vote 108 was an interesting vote. Um, I think they talked about it on another uh, reaction channel I was thinking about. And I remembered it. It's the Gary vote where everyone in the vote was named Gary. And they all just came up to you and all they said was Gary, like Hodor from Game of Thrones. And it was scary. It's like they were all clones and they all came to you and said Gary. That was crazy. So these volts, they be coming up with some crazy ideas. I understand the theory on what if we do these things to help see how our volts will become better. But you're given free range and all these volts. It's a paradox. It's a circle effect, because if you're saying, listen, just come up with your own ideas, go do your thing in your vote. Then there's always going to be somebody evil that run the vote and they're going to be like, what if we run a vote with just a whole bunch of goons or something like that? People that show authority and then all of a sudden these people come outside the vote and then there's chaos again. And then people are going to disagree because all the votes are run differently. I agree with the way vote 33 is run with everybody being polite, kind. We teaching them kindness, politeness, like Lucy said in the earlier episode, the worst things that we could do to each other is not say thank you like that. That's what they consider bad. But I did not expect the wife to say we could just drop our own bomb. That's the most insane thing I've ever heard in my life. And now it makes you wonder. Those bombs that dropped in the beginning, were those actual self-made drop bombs? Because if so, why wouldn't the husband be in the know? Like a little hint from the wife, like, listen, uh, we just heard some things. You might want to get close to the vote. That's it. Just get close to the house or get close to one of our votes. That's all I'm saying. Because the, the bombs drop right on the husband and the daughter. So I don't understand that. By the way, and uh, I think it was Ant-Man. Wasn't that the villain's like whole thing? Like he wanted to wipe out everyone and then repopulate with his own creation. And he made like this animal planet. No, oh, that was Guardians of the Galaxy, I believe. Was it Guardians of the Galaxy? It was Guardians of the Galaxy. That villain, the black guy. And he was like, we're just going to build a whole new population of people. And then he seen when he saw like things wasn't perfect, he would just destroy it and try to start over again. That's what it reminds me of. That's an insane idea to just drop bombs. And you can see the dad just came up with this same idea with um, the uh, shady sins with if he don't like something or he feels like it's bad because it's too many factions and all that. Their answer to it is just to drop a bomb. And let's start over anew because he knows that vote 33, the people in it is good 
and things are going good. So let's just drop a bomb as long as the people in Vault 33 are good. That's some scary stuff, man, because it makes you think. Like would people have the minds like this in today's time? I hope not. But that that is crazy. Also, listen, it sucks to say, but Vault 33 is a perfect example of how to come up. Vault 33 isn't that bad. At first, I was thinking, because I wrote down, I was like, why lie to them? You can easily say, listen, we're actually from 200 years ago. They decided to freeze us, so we know more answers than other people. Um, and we just trying to let you know that the outside world, we know about it, but it's bad. We need to stay here. Well, then see, but then as I was thinking about it and I was watching the episode, I was like, yeah, they can't because then they would have to explain vote 31. That's what the crowd chambers are. And number two, uh, people are going to want to see inside vote 31. They're going to have questions. Um, then they're going to wonder, well, what's on the upside world? Is it you can't go up there? Then they would have to tell them the truth that, yeah, you could. But it's just bad people up there and, you know, and then somebody might think maybe they could go up there and make things better. And then, of course, if you really want to tell them the truth, you would have had to tell them that uh, Rose went out there and he had to drop a bomb, on them, which just makes him seem bad. And the people wouldn't have liked that. By the way. He never offered explanation for that. Now, he's still alive. I wish they would have went into a little bit more expedition of her asking her him like, why? though? Why didn't you take mom back with me? Or maybe I missed it. So the dad could just be like, no, I, I mean, he kind of explained she put you in danger and all this. I guess she didn't like he didn't like it. So it makes me wonder how long was the mom up there? Like, did she escape? And then he went to go look for her. But she was. Like part of the NCR already, a part of Mo David's crew. So then he was like, you know what? Screw it, because Mo David didn't get bombed. So there's still some answers there. I just don't understand why you would drop the bomb, and the mom is still out there. Like that's your wife. So I didn't like that. I could see how Lucy feels, but she couldn't have shot her father, and I'm glad she didn't do it. Because I was thinking, listen, as bad as what he did, as evil as what he did, killing your dad, that would have probably destroyed her. And that wouldn't have, that wouldn't have sat well with her psyche. Well, now the Brotherhood has now taken over. Now, here's the, the Brotherhood is, is just bad, man. They, they took over Philly, just started a new base there, just... Because they could. They're the brotherhood. You already see how jerkish they are. It seems like a cult. They don't seem, they seem to be running on power of this is what we do and trying to gather technology, not let it get into other people's hands. They feel like they should be in charge of it. And I agree with Moldaver. It just seems to be a whole bunch of factions that have ideas. How big of a paradox? I know I'm talking too much about this, but. The idea was to create a whole bunch of vaults so everyone could live inside of vaults and everyone come up with their own idea on how to make the world better. But not realizing that in the outside world, there are different factions that have ideas on how to repopulate the earth or make the earth better. Some are just roaming around doing their own thing. But Moldova, ironically enough, she just supplied power to the outside world to keep the outside going where the vault wants the outside world to just kill themselves out so people from the vaults can come up. But they don't realize the greatest things about us being human is our ability to adapt. I actually think that is the essential thing that makes you a human is your ability to adapt and to evolve and to basically, basically fit in or, you know, move with the, however the world is. So now the outside world ain't going to ever just totally wipe itself out. They're always going to find ways to adapt or do this. Unless, once again, if they feel like it's going too slow, then they're trying to drop bombs on the outside world. Now it makes me wonder, is that their real goal? They're really just trying to blow up the outside world so they could get the 
new world in, but now you got ghouls, then you got mutants, and then once again, just to be honest with you, once again, evolution. You keep dropping bombs and bombs, and now these roaches survive, and then this survive. It's a crazy paradox. It's like, I don't know what they're thinking. But now Moldova set the power up, but now the Brotherhood is in charge of it. And Maximus is now, they're calling him Night Maximus because they think he killed Moldova. So it would be interesting to see, is he going to go back to Vote 33? Or does he have to stay with the Brotherhood? I mean, he's basically going to be seen as the man now. So that should be interesting. And Lucy and Koopa are looking for the leaders for answers to see who's really in charge. And something else I forgot to mention. I'm surprised I didn't think of this. Cooper said, where the hell is my family? Now, I don't know where the daughter could be. Now, unless they show a flashback that he actually made it on that horse to his wife or to one of these vaults. The mother took the daughter and was like, Coop, come with me. We're going to be here or something like that. And Coop decided no, like he just said no. I don't know. Why would he do that? Or maybe he was just like, hold on, I need to help somebody. And the vault door closed. Did the wife shut it on him? I don't know. But worst case scenario. Well, best case scenario, worst case scenario, however you want to look at it. I actually think the best case scenario is the daughter survived too. But I don't see how if she was with him. But the daughter, I mean, the, the wife, where is she? She could possibly still be in the world in one of these vaults, or she's still in those cryo chambers. It looked like it was still some more people in there. I'm not 100% sure, but great episode, great season. The last season to me really framed it up for like what the whole thing was about the conspiracies, the runarounds, and now season two can focus on trying to find these leaders trying to find the answer. Hopefully we run into some more votes. Um, we still got vote 33. It looks like Norm. I don't know what's going to happen with him. Personally, I would have grabbed the robot and threatened to break him unless he's op- unless he opens the door or something like that. But, you know, I'm not just going out like that. I don't know. I'm not sitting in those cryo chambers. That I could tell you for sure. But, whew, wow. Amazing season. Please like, subscribe, comment down below. I like to say comment down below if I missed anything, but I'm almost 1000% sure I missed a couple of things. I'm probably going to watch a like a um, vote lore video for some of the votes. And I kind of want to uh, see like little Easter eggs and things that I missed this season. I probably got to watch that too. Because when you always rewatch it, that's when you figure some things out. But I love the mystery at the end, finally getting soft because. It makes for a great rewatch. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to season two. Hopefully it gets picked up for season two. I heard it was popular, so I think there will be a season two. Ah, Great watching this with you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.